Welcome to that video tutorial of how to install PTZ camera from FR Joseph Anton. Now we are looking at a PTZ camera which is a Vandal proof IP66 and what we need is uh, we need a LAN key and a skill driver and a balloon and the cables. Now if we take a PTZ camera, um, you have six terminals. The first one, um, you have two terminals for power, which is power and ground. Then you have video, video and ground. Then you have RS-485 A and B. Now RS-485 A and B is used to send data and then video to send video and the power to power the PTZ camera. What we have done here is we have used a DC lead for the power and then we got the video connected and RS485. The end of the video for it to be connected to the DVR we'll be using this pattern. I've used red color for the video and the black for ground. In the balloon you have plus and minus, so I'll be using red as plus and the black as minus. What we have here is that we've got a controller which is connected to the PTZ by RS485 A and B and the PTZ is connected to the DVR using Cox cable and the PTZ is powered by a power supply and you have to make sure you use the right power supply with the required milliamps. The next thing you have to make sure on a controller and the PTZ is it got to match the protocol and bow rate. The protocol that we're using here is Falco D and the bow rate is 2400 and PTZ should use the same protocol and the bow rate. Once the connections are established, you'll be able to control your PTZ via the controller. You don't, ne you don't necessarily have to have a controller to control a PTZ. You could control a PTZ using your DVR as long as your DVR has the right software to control PTZ. We'll be looking into how to connect a PTZ to a DVR and control it via the DVR in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Thank you.